Pippin is a musical um, written by Stephen Schwartz, who is also the composer of Wicked and Godspell and a lot of other classics of musical theater. It's about uh, the son of Charlemagne, the heir to the throne, um, who does not really feel like he knows what he wants to do with his life. So the show really just follows Pippin inside and outside of his mind. The thing about Pippin is it's very, it's a very group oriented, uh, group oriented show and it's been, we've done shows in the past that are, there's maybe one or two big group numbers in the entire thing, whereas Pippin is, it's all about like this group of players trying to get Pippin to kind of join them on their pursuit towards the grand finale, as they call it. We go through all the shows and we think of the pros and cons and stuff, and we think of what's best for everyone versus for a few people. Um, which ends up, we end up with a show like this with a huge cast and everyone's involved and yeah, I just think it's awesome. I think it's really something that audience will look at and just be in awe of because of how involved everyone is. Knowing what people are going to see and just being part of it, and my jaw kind of drops sometimes just thinking about what people are going to be looking at, and it's like, I'm a part of this. Pippin definitely has the opportunity for all kinds of interpretation. It can be set in a lot of different eras, um, and yeah, we've kind of combined this sort of modern um, feeling with the, the classic sort of medieval style as well. So we've got, you know, players wearing like these sleek black sparkly costumes, and yet other characters coming on, you know, looking, you know, more traditional. So it, it's definitely kind of like a, a mind bending experience for the audience to kind of realize, you know, there's almost two shows going on at once. It's, it's a very like fascinating um, experience.